It doesn't take much to inspire a recall election here in Colorado. But lawmakers think it should take a little more to pull one off. Here to explain, Denver 7 political reporter Megan Lopez. Petition signatures. We have a voice. We want our voice to be heard. If there's one thing we've seen a lot of in Colorado in recent years, it's recall petitions. State lawmakers have faced them for oil and gas bills, gun legislation, supervised injection sites, and more. Reopening uh, faster than... Governor Polis has faced two. More locally, there's been recall attempts in Arvada over trash collection, Elizabeth over development, Nederland over rental rules, the list goes on. Many of those efforts fail, but they're still costly and time-consuming. I mean, I think recalls are very serious. So Democratic lawmakers have brought forward an election bill that in part addresses recalls. They should not be used willy-nilly as political threats or to get even with somebody because of one simple vote they took, for instance. That's what elections are for. The bill requires the petition to give the politician a chance to make their case for why they should stay. It requires the petition to include an estimated cost for running a recall election, and it requires signature gatherers to wear a badge saying whether they were paid to be there, among other things. For the bill co-sponsors? I think that's fair. I think that's about voter education and, and you know, transparency. Others say recalls are already hard enough. It's very hard to get straight answers and direct answers how you want it to work. Debbie Teeter is part of the Westminster recall petition over water rates. It was a challenge. We filed everything and um, things were thrown out first because of some of the affidavits weren't filled out correctly. They even went to court over it, but two of their petitions were verified. Mayor Herb Atchison and Councilman John Voles are set to face a recall election. Tenured my resignation effective at the end of business tonight. Only the mayor unexpectedly resigned last night. Debbie. It's not something you take lightly. Worries more rules on recalls could make the process more difficult. I think your chance of success as it is right now, is so narrow for a chance of success. So why are they so afraid that they've got to put more into it to make it harder? For now, the Westminster recall moves forward as state lawmakers consider whether the whole process is transparent enough for those citizens willing to sign on the dotted line. Megan Lopez, Denver 